What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Gen Y hitch mounted flagpole. It's gonna fit your two inch by two inch hitch and can let you fly any flag you want. Let's check it out. It's gonna be a black powder coat steel construction with three points of adjustability. So that's gonna be four different size flags. So we have from 36 inches to 37 and a half inches. The flag we're using today is 36 inches. You can see it is pulled kind of tight here. That's because the grommets are set in just a little bit. So that's why we had to pull it down a little more to get that to go through. Looking at the shank that goes into the receiver, that is gonna be a little short. You see it works just fine on this two inch by two inch hitch on this truck, but we did put it on a Ranger where the hitch was a little bit underneath and the bumper came out. The pole did make contact with the bumper there, so it wasn't able to fit. So that's something to look for before you get this to put in your hitch. Now, if you're gonna use this on your Gen Y stacked receiver, it's gonna work just fine on there too. Now you have three pins at the bottom, that way you can adjust the pole to get it out of the way. So if you want to get it to the back of the truck and drop the tailgate, you just pull the pins down there and fold the pole down. With the pole put in the furthest position, we can actually open the tailgate on the truck. So that's going to be nice for tailgating. We need to get back here for any reason, and you already got the flagpole set up. Gen Y says not to use the flagpole while moving your vehicle, so just keep that in mind. Only use it when you're parked. Another thing you can use it with is the Gen Y stacked receiver. So maybe you roll up to the tailgate, you got a trailer on the back. You don't have to disconnect the trailer. You can just put this in one of the higher receivers. Just don't drive with it in there. Overall, I think it works pretty well as a flagpole. There's a couple different options when it comes to using these on your vehicle. There are some that you roll up on a tire and park your tire on there, and then it's more here on the side. There is some that go in the bed of the truck, which those would work, but not really well with the tunnel cover. We'd have to roll that all the way up just to use that. I'd rather keep the tunnel cover on there. There is another one that goes in the hitch, but it doesn't come with the post, so you'd have to get that separately. And it doesn't have the tilting feature either, so I think this really does have the best options out of all those to get through all the stuff you may need. If you need the tailgate access, that's gonna be really helpful to tilt that out of the way. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.